Colder, drier weather and a significant increase in airline travel help to usher in the season of dry and dull skin. Men, women, and children struggle to cope with everything from redness, tightness, and soreness to cracked scales and flakes. Luckily, we have national round renowned dermatologist Dr. Annie Chu to the rescue coming in from Los Angeles, California today. She has everything that you need to know on how to properly care for their skin this winter and help look your best. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Chu. How are you this morning? I'm doing fantastic. How are you, Tom? I'm doing wonderful. Let's start off now. Let's beat the indoor heat and cope with the outdoor cold. How are we going to do that? Well, skin really dries out with that hot, cold, hot, cold thing that we go through as we get go in and out because the barrier kind of like allows the air to suck up the moisture from our skin. So bulking up moisturizers is really important. Make sure you stick a good moisturizer all over the body and including the face when you get out of the shower within five minutes will definitely help that. Now tell us about the absolute essentials for beautiful winter skin because again, indoors, outdoors, indoors, outdoors, you talk about moisturizing. I think hydration is a big thing as well, right? Yeah, drinking water is in general good for the body, but we emphasize moisturizers because even if you flood your, your body with a lot of water, it doesn't mean you're not getting it evaporated through the skin because of the dry weather, especially if you're in a heated environment. So using a good moisturizer, like something with hyaluronic acid base, like I like Skin Medica's Ultra Sheer Suns, Oil-Free Sunscreen, it keeps the moisture from evaporating because it kind of like absorbs it like a sponge and delivers it to the skin. Mm -hmm. So th things like that are really, really important. Tell us about uh, detoxing uh, the body. And of course, our skin is our largest organ. But how, how do we detox that, especially like during the winter? Well, you can, you know, keep doing things like exercising regularly um, and just treating your skin correctly is really, really helpful, especially for those like my patients are suffering from acne. I think exercise, uh, we tend to do less of it with the winter weather, but it's still really important because it decreases stress levels, which can help with acne. And you also really want to make sure you reevaluate your skincare products like my acne patients come to see me in the winter for more gentler alternatives to treat their acne things that don't dry out their skin and cause worse inflammation. I like something like Dapsone um, gel. It's called Axone. It's available on the market as a prescription, and my patients do fantastic on that. You can get more information on axone.com. Um, but yeah, in general, I think the most important thing is just to know that you can keep the skin healthy if you continue a good lifestyle, eat correctly, um, exercise, and you know, bulk up your skin care and change it up to more gentler versions uh, to keep you healthy and gorgeous through the winter. And one of the things I like to do is I like to sweat it out. A lot of people don't like to sweat, but I like to sweat it out. I think it's a part of the uh, natural cycle of the body. How can we get some more information? Um, you can go to, for more information on acne, you can go to axon.com. For more information about sweating and with things that we can do and what causes sweating, the Academy of Dermatology is a wonderful website, aad.org. Dr. Andy Chu, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great and a safe holiday season. You too. Thanks so much for having me. And we've got more of Low Country Live right after the break, so stay with us.